Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to implement the Gateway Antivirus Service to get the most protection out of it possible. So to begin, we're going to assume that you already have the Gateway Antivirus Service license for your SonicWall. So we'll log into the interface of the admin console and go to Security Services, Gateway Antivirus, and the first thing you want to check is you want to make sure that the signature database has already been downloaded. If you just enabled the service, then you'll probably want to go ahead and select the update button. The Sonic Wall will go out and download some of the latest virus definition files. You also want to check the last check date. Make sure that it's been done within the last 24 hours. And then finally, we want to make sure that the Gateway Antivirus service hasn't expired on us. So once we're good to go there, the next step we want to do is we want to enable the Gateway Antivirus service on our zones. So here we'll use our quick link to the Network Zones page. And here we have a list of all of our zones that are set up for the LAN, WAN, wireless, and so on. And then there's a column for the Gateway Antivirus. Now, it is best to have the Gateway Antivirus enabled on all your zones. There's a very rare case where you wouldn't want to enable Gateway AV on a zone, but then again, there's other ways around that to work through that kind of issue. So we want to go ahead and make sure that we have it enabled on all of our interfaces. As you can see here, for our wireless LAN interface, we don't have it running. So we'll go ahead and select Configure. And all you have to do is select the checkbox Enable Gateway Antivirus Service and select OK. Now once we have the service ready to go on our zones, let's go back into our service again. So we'll go Security Services, Gateway Antivirus. Next we want to set the global settings for the Gateway Antivirus Service. First and foremost, you do want to make sure the Enable Gateway Antivirus box is checked. If it's not checked, the antivirus engine is not going to check any of your traffic or any of the zones that we set up. And then we have to decide which protocols we want to run the Gateway Antivirus scanning on. For the best level of protection that you can offer your network is to enable the gateway antivirus scanning for both inbound, so for example this is for HTTP or web surfing inbound traffic, as well as outbound traffic. And do this for each one of the supported protocols across the board. Now within each of these protocols there's a settings that you can go in and you can even restrict things even further. For example, you can restrict users from sending password protected files or receiving password protected files. Same goes with Microsoft Office files that may have macros enabled on them because those can be dangerous at times, especially if it's not coming from a trusted source. Then finally you can restrict transfer of the UPX or the, the packaged executable files. It's very similar to EXE files that carry Trojans and malware. This is just another format of it. Now we go ahead and select OK. Now you'll need to do that settings for each one of the protocols so that the scanning engine can check all of those protocols and check each one of those uh, specific options that we just selected. Next we can go into Configure Gateway AV settings. Our first option is we can disable the SMTP response. So with this not checked, if an email is coming into your network and it has a virus attached, the Sonic Wall will strip it out and it'll place a message in that email stating that it was blocked by the Gateway Antivirus Service. Second, disable detection of the EICAR test virus. The EICAR test virus is just a test file that was created many years ago that mimics a virus but isn't one. So you can disable the scanning up for that file if you like. I prefer to leave that enabled so that I can go out and test eCar file just to make sure that the gateway antivirus is still running. Next is enabling the HTTP byte range. And this is a pretty complicated feature but 
it all it boils down to is the way the sonic wall looks at the packets of data that come inbound to the firewall so this allows the sonic wall to take a range of bytes and scan them at it at each time and that's the best way to go through this process and make sure that you catch as many viruses as possible enable FTP reset or rest request typically you do not want to enable that it's a fairly old command that really doesn't come into play anymore next do not scan parts of files with high compression ratios this can be for example WinZip files that are super compressed it may take a lot of CPU power from the sonic wall to scan each one of those files or it could be a rather large file in any event I would recommend unchecking that because once again we want the gateway antivirus to scan as much data as possible coming in and out of our network next we can enable a notification to the client so for example if they're trying to download a file from a website the gateway antivirus engine finds a virus in that file it's going to deny that download of the file and it's going to present them with a customized message that you can put in there then finally we can enable exclusion list of IP addresses that we do not want to run the gateway antivirus on very rare case once again that that you would ever want to implement this but that feature is there in case you need it alright so after you have all your settings select OK and finally we have one more setting to maximize our implementation of the gateway antivirus and that's to use the cloud antivirus database in short, SonicWall has millions of virus definition files, but not all of them can be stored onto the SonicWall appliance. So this, by enabling this service, it allows the SonicWall to use both its local database as well as check SonicWall's cloud database of the millions of signatures possible for it to detect. All right, once we have all those settings done, we select Accept. And now we have implemented the SonicWall Gateway Antivirus for maximum protection on our network. Okay, if you have any questions about the, the video, please enter them in the section below. All right, have a great day.